Hello. I just watched the video from Michael Burkhardt encouraging us to speak about your dreams and talk about your dreams and, and live your dreams. And I'm quite inspired about that. I've wanted to post a bit more regularly and I'm still working on my profile and what have I got to offer? And I was just thinking about last Sunday when I went to the Sunday service and had a talk with a youth, the age of my own children. And I felt like the exchange that we had may have encouraged him. He said he, he said it helped and I'm grateful for that. And it's just what I love doing. I love listening. I said that to him, even though I did most of the talking, he didn't want to say much. And I sensed a certain lack of confidence, a certain feeling of insecurity, which is exactly what I go through. You know, I think, oh, what are people going to think when they see me talking like this? What are people going to think of me when I make a fool of myself on Facebook or anywhere else on the internet or elsewhere? My thoughts, my dreams, my, yeah, my dreams are a worldwide family and it starts with community. Okay. The Sunday service, but my own family, my own physical family. And if I don't see each one of my five sons as often as I'd like to, I have recognized the value, the extreme value of uncles and aunties and cousins, the extended family. And in the same way, it's our communities that we make into our extended families. I'm, I've been communicating with my brothers in Australia. Three weeks ago, my mother died and we've had one Zoom meeting together, the four of us, the five of us together, me and my four brothers. And then I had a separate talk with one of my brothers who I hadn't been able to reach before. I had spoken to two of the others individually on the phone. And we were also talking, I was talking with my own children about my brother who is the uncle to all of my nieces and all of my nephews and one niece. And I really appreciate the value of uncles and aunties in our family here in Austria as well as in Australia. <coughs> My dreams are one world family. Okay, I technically I've been focusing on my ideal of true parents, United Nations, that the people at the United Nations need to have an attitude, a parental attitude towards their mission, their job, the member states. But it starts at the grassroots in, in what I do in my relationships to the people that I meet each day. And when I'm stuck at home or behind the computer and, and not meeting anybody, then it's what I do here, how, what I can transmit, what I can share with you. And since the last couple of weeks, we have actually been attending the Sunday service physically. It was a precious opportunity to share personally. Now, maybe you know who you are, and you will find my YouTube channel and my blog and my vlog. And I really love being in a situation of, of caring, sharing, listening. And yes, I can give good advice. And I don't want to be preachy teachy. I want to share from my own experience, from what I have gone through myself and from what I've heard and learned about and what I've read about. And I've certainly done a lot. Gosh, my five kids who are all Vienna boys, quiet boys, my growing up in Australia and moving to Austria, my two years in America working as a volunteer, my official 10 years as a missionary, that's all I put on my CV for the UN because actually I see my whole life since 1975 as, as a missionary life, but I've worked in paid positions since then. Even in Australia, when I was working for the architects of the new parliament house, 
so yeah part of this is working on my identity right who am i and it's not your job it's not what you're paid for who am i i'm i'm the auntie aunt aunt oz lily i don't know not catchy enough not quite what i really want to how i want to call myself i think of um i'm a bomb bomb blombeck what was her name and uh there, there was a few ladies that uh that had these um help pages and sites that they that they were doing um advice for people and i can imagine doing i'm a bomb bombeck blombeck i don't know do you know do you know who i mean she she's gone to the spirit world already but she was giving lots of really sound advice and i'm really happy to lend an ear to hear now i've got my microphone on now because i hope that the sound will be better and that i'll be able to post this shortly after recording it and that's why i haven't gone live on facebook because last time the sound wasn't good at all but i do plan to post this now we're going out in a little while to the chamber orchestra next door at the Volkskunde museum there's a women's chamber orchestra playing tonight at six o'clock so if you see this on time and you feel like coming along it's not for free but it's it's available and you uh, limited limited amount because we are still in semi distancing and lock not quite strict lockdown but i guess i'll have to wear a mask to go there yeah that's what i wanted to share with you today so until next time see ya oz lily <laughs>